This is Pastor Clint Nelson with uh, Pastor Clint's online gathering, and today we have a good program for you. We have a, a friend of ours who is a pastor on Harker's Island, United Methodist Church, and we're going to introduce him to you right now and just kind of talk a little bit, and I'm sure you'll be blessed by it all by the time the program is is come to a close. God bless you for, for joining us today. We thank you so very much. Pastor Lee Pittard, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's good to have you. I appreciate you having me over. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, um, it's is, it's a joy. It's more of a privilege for me than it is you. Trust me. I, I have uh, I have come to to respect, uh, have more respect for you and all the other pastors here on the island since we've been doing this drive-in uh, church services on Sunday morning. It's been a blessing to me. I don't know if anybody else, but I have certainly enjoyed it. Uh, I truly felt blessed by this, and it has been a wonderful opportunity to really get to know one another as pastors on the island. Yeah. Uh, we've been having good crowds. Somebody said last Sunday, said, I didn't, I didn't think there was as many here, but what I saw was plenty. Uh, it was I, a big crowd. I think that we've had a huge crowd each week. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's amazing. I told some, somebody earlier, I said, you know, to be able to get five pastors together, uh, in unity is a, is a miracle almost, but not with us because these are great guys that have have come together. I am, uh, I really appreciate them. Appreciate you, brother. How you, the things you've done for the island. You have uh, you have brought you've brought this island uh, together as much as anybody else that I know of uh, on the island, and we appreciate that so very much. Thanks. You have about the mother church on the island anyway. This is uh, that's the kind of thing. That's where we all came from. That's kind of what I picked up on in the history. And yeah. it's just an honor to be here and be amongst y'all. Uh, my family and I have truly felt blessed to be here. Well, you have been a blessing to this island already. I was just, uh, I was wondering as I was thinking about you coming in, in today. Now, you're not originally from the island, are you? No, sir. I'm probably the newest of the pastors <laughs> to the island. Well, look, we want you to be the oldest pastor on the island. We don't want you going nowhere. Well, thank you. And can we talk to your uh, your conference about keeping you here for forever? That, that'll that work for me. <laughs> you like the island? I love it. Yeah, love me it. too. I was born and raised here, and uh, it's it's just been a it's just been a home to me all my life, and uh, I I love it. Some great people on the island. A little bit different than it, most it, places. It is different, but it's a good different. Yeah. Somebody said it was kind of clannish. I said, well, we probably are, but, but I'll tell you, once you get in and know them, they have heart of gold. Yes. They'll do anything for you. Yes, sir. How long have you been in the ministry, uh, Brother Lee? I have been serving as a pastor for 24 and a half years. Good grief. That's, that's about what I've been doing. Uh, but See, we're, we're about the same age then, right? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I was trying to help you out, brother, I and I appreciate that. But but no, I'm a lot older than you. Uh, I I wish I was a little younger. The only reason I want to be a little younger and be able to roll back is because that way I, I could I could straighten up some things that that I, that I didn't do I should have done, and some things I did do that I ought not to have done. But uh, I wanted to work for the Lord a little stronger. I believe I could have done a better job in that end because I found out the blessings that there is in serving God. Amen. And uh, pastoring is, it's not an easy work at all as well as you know that, but I'll tell you what it is. It's such great rewards to, to, to see people come into the family of God and to see them uh, grow in, in the knowledge and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is a blessing. Yes, it is. And uh, I hear a lot of good things coming from your way, and, uh, and I understand it all now, and we appreciate you so very much being Thank here. You. Now, I want to ask you something kind of direct here. Okay. When did you when did you get saved? When did I get saved? Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you my answer, which is an unusual answer, but I got saved over well, roughly about two thousand years ago on a hill called Golgotha. <laughs> that's a priest. That's spot, that's that's when the saving work happened. Was what Jesus did. Nothing I did. When you know, I appreciate you saying that, and that's that's great. But there does come a time when you surrender. <laughs> Now, you know, and I, I understand that that very much. Um, well, you know, it, it's, as I said a little while ago, it's not, it's not, um, justice that I seek for is mercy. Yes. 
And for by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yes. yourself. It's the gift of God. Amen. You know, and he, he said, whosoever will can come. That's a, that's a, that's a blessing. By the way, I saw your online, uh, uh, Wednesday night prayer meeting and I thought it was great. And I, I I'm glad that you're, you're doing that. You want to tell these folks how to get to you if they want to see that? Well, there are multiple ways you can get to it. We have, uh, we, we do the service live via Facebook every Wednesday night, just like we do our drive-in services where we have them streaming live. And then within the next day or so, I, I pull it from Facebook and we post it on our YouTube channel. Uh, now, you can't ask me the address off the top of my head. Uh, I have to look it up every time. Yeah. And it's also on our church's Facebook page. I mean, not Facebook page, but our church's website. Um, so it's, it's being able to be found in multiple places if anybody wants to be able to see that. I got you. Well... I think it's great, and I would encourage the folks that's listening to uh, to get on there and make, make a bookmark or something so you can get to it often. Um, it's a good thing. This time of pandemic, we have kind of have to be a little creative in our in our worship and the yep. things that we do. And, that, and you've yes, been sir. doing that, and, and I appreciate that. You're, a, you. you're, you're electronic whiz. God, I wouldn't say that because <laughs> I, I would have been ready for this interview about – five, 10 minutes earlier, if I wasn't fighting with some technology at church today. <laughs> well, I, I have those problems every day, but, uh, it's good to see you doing that. But and, I'll go back to your, your previous question about, uh, about when I surrendered. Yeah. Uh, and to me, surrender, I did it this morning. It's, it's a daily thing for me. Uh, I originally surrendered to Christ as my Lord and Savior when I was roughly about 12 years old. There you go. Um, and, you know, I've always been part of the church, but it's, it's, it's a continual thing. You're absolutely right um, about you that. Know, and, and for those of us who have gone into the ministry, there's that next step of yeah. surrender when we surrender to our call. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're correct on that, that's for sure. And, and that's what a lot of people maybe don't, don't realize. Is this is not a one-time event. You know, it's a daily, it's a daily walk, a process, trusting and, and leaning on Christ and what he did at Calvary. It's not what we have done, but it's what Amen. he has done. And that makes me feel a lot better. I <laughs> think it really yes. does when you place your trust in the hands of, in the hands of Jesus Christ. Well, now your church, the United Methodist church on, on Harker's Island, is that correct? Yes, sir. Now, I was going to tell you to give them an address, but they don't need an address. Just go midway to the island, right? That's right. Not midway. And that's, that's, that's where the church is, and all the other ones branch out from that. But um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real joy and a privilege to uh, have you here. Your family now, you, 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 how, how many children do you have? We have my wife and I have three children, uh, and right now we're uh, raising our grandson. So we're uh, we're we're doing it all over again. Yeah, well that, but it, it's a blessing. It's a yeah, tremendous it blessing. It, it really is, and you've got one with you today. Uh, this is a grandson. It's who's with me. He's he said he was going to monitor everything I said and tell me <laughs> that it was all wrong when we we're said and done. <laughs> Well, I see him looking at you, so you, you might get some critique when you get well, I'm home. sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got any events coming up other than our drive-in? That's pretty much it right now. Yeah. That and our Wednesday night online service. We are going to uh, start an online Bible study uh, towards using the Zoom feature that you and I and the other pastors meet, but we're going to start that uh the end of may beginning of june uh, about after once the teachers have finished their uh remote classrooms uh because some of them are part of the uh annual study we do yeah uh this year we're going to uh this summer or at least our first one we might do more than one this summer but uh we're going to look at uh rob renfro's book a way through the wilderness mm -hmm. who, who talks about how uh how god grows our faith in times of crisis yeah kind of fitting it is it really is and that's what we're doing now you know uh this this pandemic we don't exactly know we talk as pastors about you know how long we're going to be doing this we really don't know we we but 
this is this is such we're not stopped we're just going to keep on going regardless yes. you know the gospel is a, is the most powerful message that can be preached and uh the i think the message the messages that i've heard with us are encouraging people to look unto jesus who uh, is the author and the finisher of our faith so he's the one that counts um now i i'm not sure i pastor i don't know if i've done my my interview yet but uh, the church that I pastor, um, the Free Grace Wesleyan Church, is not too far from yours, and no. and we came many many years ago, hundred hundred years ago, from from your church. Um, but you know, it's not. I don't think in heaven we're going to have Wesleyans, or Methodists, no, or Baptists or Pentecostals. It'll just be Christians. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, that brings me hope and encouragement. Me um, too. Do, is there anything that you would like to, uh, to say to somebody that's listening today who maybe don't know Christ as their personal savior and you could point them in that direction? I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you're wow. a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, if, if, if someone doesn't know, you know, I would. I would encourage you because if you don't know Jesus as as your personal savior, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, then then that that hole that's there in your life that you you've been looking for something to fill that you've looked all sorts of places saying, you know, if I can just find what goes in that hole, I will be complete, I will be filled. It, it won't be filled until you develop that relationship with Christ, until you the, the surrender we've been talking to, until you yeah. surrender to to that relationship and you know most of the time we think of surrender as a negative thing is we think of it as a giving up but when you surrender to christ it's it's not a giving up it's a victory yes it is it's a victory over every single thing that could ever come against you and and in a time of pandemic or in time of any crisis or any difficulty because it doesn't have to be a, a worldwide difficulty it could be just a personal difficulty when you have that relationship with christ you have the assuredness that you're going to be a victorious because Christ has already won that victory over whatever you're facing. Christ has already gone before us, ahead yeah. of us, and claimed victory over everything. It has already been won. Yeah, that is that's a great message, brother. And uh, I just want to say I thank you for coming today. Oh. I, I think we ought to do this again. I'll get you to. get you in here and uh, let you do some preaching to us. And and I, I've I've seen you get. You put it out there, and uh, I appreciate that. Well, thank you. I appreciate the invitation to be here. Yeah, well, it, like I say, it's all my privilege. So um, I'll wrap this thing up here. We want to thank you for joining us today, and uh, we thank Brother Pastor uh, Lee Pittard, United Methodist Church on Harker's Island. If you get over this way after the pandemic and church is open, go visit him. Tell him you saw him online and you want to hear him in person. And we thank you again. Until next time, this is Clint saying so long and have a blessed day. We'll see you next time.